Hello and welcome. This is me, Anju Naihatsu. And today is the first in my series of anime recommendations for you. We're going to be starting with a story that's special to me. Maybe you know it. Here's a hint. The day has come. Boku no Hero Academia. My Hero Academia in English. It all started with this little book, this manga, by Kohei Horikoshi. It's the story of a young boy called Izuku Midoriya, living in a world in which 80% of the population possesses a quirk, if you wish, a superpower. An ability and his dream is to become a great superhero like the greatest of all superheroes all might always saving the day with a smile on his face Unfortunately, our young hero, Midoriya, is not one of those to possess a quirk. He is what they call quirkless in this world. So, here is the story of how Midoriya, against all odds, will still do everything he can to try and become a hero. Here are my five reasons why you should be watching Boku no Hero Academia. Reason number one to watch Boku no Hero Academia, the style. Boku no Hero Academia, as you can imagine being a superhero themed manga, is inspired by American comic books. You can see it even even on the back of the manga, you can see it. The whole edgy style. The popping colors. And of course, All Might. All Might, who is clearly an American superhero. As you can tell by some of his moves that he uses in the show. Like the Texas Smash. Maybe the Detroit Smash. But yeah, it's pretty obvious. It is basically a celebration of the comic books of America from which it is inspired. Reason number two. The setting. Boku no Hero Academy, as I said, is set in a world in which 80% of humans actually have a quirk, therefore a superpower. But unlike these comic books like X-Men where humans are trying to kill them, shaming them, pushing them out of society, in this story, society has actually evolved to be able to accommodate people with quirks who can live normal lives like anyone else 
and that's interesting. It's a story we haven't seen before. Reason number three, against common conventions. It is a manga and an anime before anything else. But unlike most shonen stories, here we have a boy, Midoriya, who has nothing special about him. All he is is a young man, a young boy, with a dream to become the greatest superhero. But he doesn't have a quirk. He doesn't have that special thing that you normally get in Shonen Jump characters, main characters, like Naruto, who held the Nine Tails, for example. Or Goku, who was a Super Saiyan. <laughs> I mean, he's just a normal person like you and me, with a big dream. And nothing but his courage to get him there. Reason number four, action and comedy. Of course, it's a superhero show, so you need those, don't you? And trust me, you will get enough action in here. Like any great superhero story, there had to be. And as for comedy, it comes in not unexpected places in here. <laughs> I mean, there is actually quite a few fan moments. There's the dubious attitude of some of the pro heroes. ハンザイ件数。法の抜本的改正に国がもたつく間、勇気ある人々がコミックさながらにヒーロー活動を始めた。頂上への警備、悪意からの防衛、たちまち市民権を得たヒーローは世論に押される形で公的職務に定められる。
巨大国家人気も出そうだしすごい個性でもあるけどアンドゥーソーミノートアンドゥーソーソーアクラスパーヴァーツホーカムサブジェスディーベスコメッツアンドゥーソーソーアクラスパーヴァーツホーカムアンドゥーソーソーアクラスパーヴァーツホーカムサブジェスディーベスコメッツアウトブルー爆発しないイメージ<笑>すげえ540キロってあんたゴリラあタコかタコってエロいよね<笑> Reason number five At last but number one reason Why you should be watching Boku no Hero Academia. Inspiration. Midoriya, as I've said, a young boy, a normal person just like you and me, in a world of superheroes and supervillains. Even his doctor, as a kid, told him he should give up. But not only that, As you'll see in the first episode, even his idol, his all time hero, All Might, tells him No, you cannot become a superhero. He tells him to give up on his dream. And here's what happens after that. になってもまだ彼は現実が見えてないのです本格的に将来を考えていく時期だ相応に現実を見なくてはね Isn't that the kind of thing you heard before people tell you 泣くな分かってたろ現実 When it comes to your big dreams 分かってたから必死こいてたんじゃないかいないようにいないようにって爆発のおいおい癖でつい来ちゃったってかやめとけ今は虚しくなるだけだってあ,あいつなんでオールマイト逃げられたのか落としただとしたら僕の。<笑>ヒーローなんで棒立ち手が出せねえんだよ中学生が捕まってんだとはもうずっとあのままさ<笑>捕まってるってずっとあのままってあんな苦しいのに耐えてるのか僕はものの数秒で死ぬとさえ思ったのに<笑>すごいつうかあのヴィランさっきオールマイトが追いかけてたやつじゃねオールマイト嘘来てんのなんかちょっと前に見たよマジでじゃあ何してんだオールマイトはどれどれああ僕のせいだ彼は動けない情けないあいつはつかめない有利な個性のヒーローを待つしかない情けない頑張ってごめんごめんなさい情けないすぐに助けが来てくれるから情けない誰かヒーローがすぐ
this is just after All Might told him he couldn't become a superhero. Seeing someone in danger, he couldn't stop himself. He just knew he had to do everything in his power in that moment. And this is what I love the most about this show. Is the real... No, rather it's... What makes a true hero? Is it having power and using it for good? Or just doing everything you can in those moments in life? Doing everything you can. He didn't even think, it just happened. He put his life on the line at that very moment. What makes a true hero? Find out in Boku no Hero Academia. My Hero Academia. Follow the adventures of Izuku Midoriya in Boku no Hero Academia. The boy who's been laughed at, beat down, and discouraged since his kindergarten years. Not only by his peers, friends, but by adults, doctors, his hero. Will he become a superhero? Let me know how Book No Hero Academia makes you feel in the comment section below. Does it give you that power, that oomph that it gave me back in the day? If you want more anime recommendations, you can check out my website. I'll put the link in the comment section below. And otherwise, subscribe. And you'll be getting more videos like this one very soon. This was me and Junai Hatsu going out. Sahani Mukoi plus Ultra.